Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi Collective, welcome to the channel, Cosmic Divine Dreamer. Hi everyone. So this is going to be a goddess reading that I'm doing for all of you. Alright, so I'm going to be doing different style readings, all different kinds. But um, if you're guided to my channel, then these readings are going to resonate with you. Know that. So definitely subscribe if you have not. The more you watch, the more you're going to come out my readings. Now if you feel they're not for you, every reading might not be for you. So if you're not a divine feminine, then this goddess reading... It's not going to be for you, but I've got other readings that I'm doing today that, you know, but you never know. Maybe they're still fun to watch and you're going to learn something in them, but just, you know, it's going to be for my ladies. Okay. <laughs> Cause I felt this beautiful, um, empowered energy. I got some love Oracle cards, the power of love, self care. Um, I'm feeling these pinks and purples, but then like the goddess, I was like, wow, like I felt that glowing. I was like, yeah. So, I'm probably with the yellow and the golds, right? So, I am just, like, going through my basket and figuring out what I'm keeping, what I'm not. Like, I decided, like, I've got a lot, like, I think a lot of my oracles go. <laughs> I've got so many because I want new ones. And I, I, like, hate having things that I don't use because I feel like then I trap its energy because everything's got energy, right? And, um... Other people could be using these um, beautiful decks. I've already given some away, and um, I love, you know, giving people decks anyway. So, but yeah, um, I there's so many beautiful decks. I'm always looking for more. Of course, I still do want to have like an amazing library where I have just like a whole oracle room <laughs> too. But like. Uh, I got to be like honest with myself, real with myself. Like literally I've been living in a motel for nine months and <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I mean, I have a huge storage locker that I pay for every month, but just, I'm really trying to just figure out if I should do a fire sale with that too, because like, I know it's meant for me to travel and be on the move. It kind of always has. That's why I do this where every couple of years or so my stuff ends up in storage for all and I have a lot of fun traveling but I miss my things I don't know why I'm talking about all this <laughs> anyways um let's get some goddess cards right let's see if the energy the goddess guidance oracle card the goddess energy is coming out strongest <laughs> sage um Siege, quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. I definitely know that, that, yeah, I'm feeling called to do that. Wasn't I just saying at the beginning, probably hearing my kids or whatever, like, they, they don't like to give me enough quiet time. Like, seriously, like, mom, 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 like, all the time. <laughs> like, I'm, that's why my boys, I got them back in the school system, because I like to homeschool them, but mom needs a break <laughs> okay <clears throat> fast fast independent your independence is a foundation for your strength and success hmm. isis past life the situation involves your past life memories Green Tara, start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything yourself. Ashtar, boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others and demand all your time and energy. Ooh, see, this is what I need to learn to do. <laughs> Freya, bold. Unleash the adventure side, take risks, and be daring. Butterfly made in transformation. Gordelia, go outside. Ah, you've been indoor too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. I did for a little while today. <laughs> it is nice. Um, it's still really, really hot though. <laughs> um, so I feel that you guys have definitely went through a transformation. And I feel that things are changing very fast for you. And you could be assessing past life memories and things. Um, so, I 
I feel like there's a lot going on just to focus on certain messages. So let's just keep going. So those are just some of the goddesses that came out with Little Masters. I haven't even really looked at the book to see. Oh, yeah, there's a lot more meanings for the cards. Huh. I'll have to remember that. So when I just pull a few to give you the reading instead of, yeah. This is one of the newest Oracle decks that I, that I found on one of my treasure hunts, I call them. <laughs> so um, anyway, let, let's just get one more and then I will. Whichever one comes out because it might be one of the cards that already came out. And I'll do that reading from the book. I'll have to do a separate goddess guidance um, reading. Nope, we got a different one. Hathor. Receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and the ability to give to others. So let's see here. Oh, sorry, guys, I'm getting tired. <laughs> so there's a message from Hathor. You have a material side to you. <laughs> you have a mind is a material. So I'm really focused on material things. You have a maternal side to you that naturally cares for those in need. Yet, this must be balanced with receptivity or flow is blocked. Receiving is the essence of feminine energy. And it means allowing yourself to receive with grace and gratitude. If you feel guilty when asking others for help, or you feel bad about receiving gifts, then you block your feminine energy. Your receptivity is just as natural as your nurturing, giving energy. Receptivity allows you to better hear the voices of the angels. When you receive, you have more resources to give to others. Begin by noticing the hundreds of gifts you receive each day, whether it's seeing beauty in nature, witnessing a touching human moment, or being hugged by a loved one. Simply say thank you for each gift and know that they're filling up your storehouse, keeping the divine flow going strong. So various meanings with this card can be, be still and listen, release guilt about receiving, ask for help, increase psychic awareness, know that you are a learning cycle, healing is occurring, be more in your feminine energy, child conception pregnancy or birth including adoption or favorable custody arrangements are issues in your life wow hmm. it's very significant to me because i'm trying to get my daughter back to me right now my oldest she's been she was supposed to be temporarily staying with her grandmother and then they took guardianship of her because of my situation so yeah she's been gone for too long and I'm petitioning the cards currently to get her back so that's very very touching to me to see at this moment right hmm. wow all right so hmm, look I flip right to fast independence I wanted to read one more. That's why I felt so flip. Um, cause wow, there was a there was a lot. It was beautiful. I know some readers will just read intuitively, and that's what I love to do when I get a new deck. Cause I love to just get right into the deck and intuitively get my impressions on the cards first of what I feel, and then later I get into um, the reading and stuff. Just um, yeah, I, that's what I mean. I feel like I. Ugh of my ADHD I and I if I have too many things and then the Gemini part takes over it's I, I have trouble focusing <laughs> anyway I think that's why I'm scattered a lot too in my readings but anyways and it, a lot of it's the energy and I need more space and I have to have like all of it too close to me and they've got way too many crystals and I, I don't know what to do with all of them and I'm having trouble even like charging them because of where I'm at and that's a lot of stuff so just bear with me <laughs> okay maybe some of you like this chaotic energy I don't know 
All right, so the message from Bast. Like the cat, you're fiercely independent, yet you also need affection and a playful companionship. Companions. Now is the time to balance your social interactions with solitude. While you may ask others for their opinions, ultimately, you must make your own decisions. Your freedom and independence are top priorities, so ensure that these characteristics are nurtured. Beautiful. So, various meanings of this card are to spend time alone, give yourself permission to play, ask for your needs to be met, make your own decision, work with cats. It's so cute. I want a kitty so bad too. And I keep seeing them everywhere because we had to give up our kitty. You know, when we came to this lifestyle again. Um, pay attention to your pet feline or get a new cat. <laughs> wow. Well, they tell you about the, um, the, the goddesses too on the back. The Egyptian goddess Bass transforms into a cat each night and protects her family and those who call upon her with her all-seeing night vision. She exhibits the cat-like traits of the feminine, which include gracefulness, independence, playfulness, and intuition. Bass also works with cat lovers to help their feline companion. Compan companions. The daughter of the sun god Ra, Bass has the rare distinction of being both a moon and a sun goddess. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Wow, I love that. I feel like I want to read um, Hathor's. So, this Egyptian goddess is represented by the head of the cow to symbolize the sacred animals, life-giving milk, and mothering. Hathor is a benevolent sky and sun goddess who can help with all aspects of child conception, birthing, raising, calling upon Hathor to give you nurturing yourself and your loved ones. Wow. So, those are two very beautiful Egyptian goddesses. Wow. Let's see. And there's more. I can keep going. There's Freya that we had seen. Unleash your adventurous side, take risks, and be daring. So to be bold. Wow. So this is very beautiful. I feel like I could do reading alone with just goddess guidance. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to, but um, I mean, I'm gonna leave this one here. I'm gonna start fresh because I need to clear my energy a little bit. I think, and then, um, so yeah. I'm going to do a reading with um, a self-care reading with these beautiful cards next. So that one will be down below, right? So definitely subscribe if you have not. So that way you will get the notifications um, on my readings, right? And watch our beautiful guided too. Love and light to all of you. Bye.